So hi everyone, today I thought I'd talk about um, how to spot fake profiles or accounts. Um, two of the biggest platforms at this point that are having a lot of fake profiles or fake accounts is Instagram and um, Facebook. I don't know why, but I've noticed um, that they really are having a lot of, again, fake accounts and profiles. So I thought I'd start off with um, Instagram first. Um, basically, you kind of know when they're fake sometimes if they send like random messages. I'll show you guys what I mean right now. Um, and sometimes they seem like they're auto-generated messages. Like you'll share a post and then you'll have something unrelated like, you know, your plants are so beautiful or, you know, that's such a wonderful picture. And it may be a photo that's not even yours. I've had that happen before where I reshared a photo from another profile and I have the comment that my photo was so lovely. Um, I also have a comment on a photo of a product that I took and that um, I took a product, a photo of a product and the person was like, that's a stunning photo. And I'm like, okay, it's a bottle of whatever it was at the time, right? And another thing that you notice sometimes too with the fake profiles is that they either have like a huge number of followers or they're following like a large amount of people but the example that I'm gonna give you guys right now actually was one that I encountered recently within the last week or so um, of filming and I'm we are today that I'm filming's the 26th of March which is a Thursday so that was during this week or last week that I happened to get this weird message and the person replied to a message or to a post from 2019 about a video regarding sugar daddies um, and they basically wanted to know if I needed financial help to direct message them and they'd help me. I don't understand how that works but okay. Um, but I'll show you guys what I mean in just a second so I'll be right back with my examples. So this was the message that I mentioned earlier. Um, basically the person just commented that if I needed financial help to direct message them. Their screen name gave me a laugh though because it was Prickman Harry. So I laughed and I kind of decided to take a look at the person's profile and as you can see it was just very generic. They had three whole pictures and they were all from earlier this month which is March. So those usually give or usually a pretty good giveaway so stay tuned. Another thing I forgot to mention was that the Prickman Harry um, Instagram profile, the person listed in their information or their about bio section that they were a philanthropist and they liked helping people financially. Doesn't everyone just say, Hey, direct message me and I'll give you money for free. Yeah, I don't think so. Another thing though, um, that is very common among a lot of the spam accounts or the fake accounts or however you want to call them at this point. Um, is stock photos. Stock photos, for those of you who aren't familiar, are ones that you can find on the internet for free. Um, I use a lot of them like for my blog. I've also used some of them for um, my intros to videos. So like you can find them via various websites. Some are free and some are paid if they're a little bit more of a professional company. Um, but I actually caught someone in a lie recently. I had, again, somebody messaged me via Instagram <clears throat> excuse me and I kind of perused their profile and I saw a picture that was a very common picture that was available for download through I think it was Microsoft's community at one point and you could use it like as a background screensaver or as a screensaver or a background for your computer and I called the person out on it and I asked them where they had gotten their photos from and the person sent me like some mad face little emojis and by the end of the week their account was completely gone um, other things that I've noticed too are when people send or when people have like a, a spam account or a fake account, sometimes again, they use a lot of stock photos, but they don't have captions. So those are the ones that are real dead giveaway. So for instance, the same person that used that Microsoft photo or that photo that had been available through the Microsoft community had a photo of what they claim to be them and a child. And it didn't have any information. It was just a picture of a person and, and you know, an elementary school age kid. So you're kind of like, why wouldn't, why would you just post random photos and not have some sort of a caption? And that's usually what gets me. I understand I've done that where 
I don't have time to type out a caption, but I'll share a photo. But you would still think if you're um, sharing a photo of a nature scene or, you know, yourself and your niece or yourself and your nephew or yourself and your child, it'd be like, you know, so-and-so and I or something like that. But that's usually what gets me too. And the other one that gets me is the one, sometimes there've been a lot of people that have, that have messaged me again via Instagram and they claim they're like in the military and they have a lot of military photos, like them in their uniform and you know, them working out. My thing is this, if you're in the military and you're in an area where you're supposed to be patrolling or something else of that nature, you would think that you would be focused more on your job, not taking a million selfies of yourself. So it kind of makes you think, right? So those were basically the giveaways that I have. The other thing that I've noticed too, is that a lot of the fake profiles have like really high engagement. I don't really know how you can um, test that in a sense, unless you use a particular um, search feature, I guess, if you can find one online for free. Um, one that I do know that can validate specific um, social media pages like Instagram or YouTube or Twitter is Social Blade. And I've used Social Blade myself because I've just been kind of curious and I've looked myself up. So I'll add that right now so you guys can see. And basically what it does is you type in either the URL of the YouTube channel or your uh, Twitter handle or your handle for Instagram. And I think it works with t Twitch and another one, but I've added the link in the description below if you guys want to go and look at it. Um, and basically it gives you like your stats. So and it, it'll give you like a rating, like right now I have a C. I'm not too sure how the rating system works, but it'll give you a rating and it'll give you basic information like how many followers the person has, how much engagement they have, they do have features that you may have to upgrade for if you want to know more, but if you're somebody like me that just kind of peruses yourself every once in a while to make sure that, you know, somebody hasn't gotten a hold of stuff that's yours, um, excuse me, it may come in handy. Um, I'll add that right here and then I'll go on to talking about Facebook in a minute. So this is basically what a partial screenshot of Social Blade looks like. So as you can see, it gives you your screen name from Instagram and it gives you kind of like some charts. And then if you scroll down the page a little more from this screenshot that I added, it basically gives you like your engagement and a little more information about followers and stuff like that. So I thought this was kind of helpful for you guys to look at. So as you saw, basically Social Blade kind of gives you just a bit of an outline and as I mentioned, if you scroll down from the partial screenshot that I shared with you guys, it gives you just more information about, um, excuse me, your social site. So like for my Instagram, it actually gives you a listing of how many people were following you, how many follows you have in a day, how many follows you've had, Lee unfollow you, things like that. So it gives you a fair amount of information. And it also has, I don't know if you guys could tell, but it had a button actually saying validate. Um, it says something like help us validate this profile or something like that. So you can actually click on that and validate yourself that you actually are a real person in a sense. So let's move on to Facebook. Facebook is pretty long. So I think I'm gonna have to cut this up into a two part video so you guys don't have to watch me yakety yakety for like ever. So um, we'll figure that out and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.